first of all, where do our storms come from here in Colorado? We get our main storm systems from three different areas. Uh, Pacific cold fronts that come in off the Pacific coast. Those oftentimes will bring us some heavy mountain snow, but a lot of times not all that much weather down on the plains. Alberta clipper storms that will be low pressure systems that clip out of Alberta province of Canada and go to the north of Colorado generally don't bring as much precipitation but create a lot of wind and the Colorado hooker when that big red L forms right down over southeastern Colorado that's also called the Albuquerque low or the Panhandle low and that one swings a lot of moisture around the low pressure system and brings us some of our heaviest storms snow and rain so the weather makers in our state are really the mountains. Rising air tends to cool, condense, and its moisture is squeezed out. Sinking air tends to dry out and warm up. So that's why you can sometimes have rain or snow on one side of the mountain and sunshine on the other side. Right now, I want to talk a little bit about the El Nino and La Nina patterns. Now, El Nino is the warmer water in the equatorial Pacific. This is over 3,000 miles away from us, but it has a big effect on our weather here in Colorado. Throws a lot of energy up into the atmosphere, change the position of thunderstorms in the Pacific, and eventually alters how the jet stream blows across the United States, generally bringing us a southwest to northeast jet stream flow that typically will bring us a lot of big soggy storms in the wintertime and kind of supercharges the summer monsoon in July and August. So the El Nino tends to make it a wetter pattern for Colorado. Sadly, we're in a La Nina, and that's been going on for a while. In La Nina patterns, it's cooler water in the Pacific. It also affects the energy balance of the atmosphere and affects the jet stream and tends to develop more of a northwesterly flow across the nation from northwest to southeast. In the wintertime, that is great for Summit County and great for Steamboat at the expense of the San Juan Mountains. And it generally means a lot of wind on the eastern plains, which we've certainly seen so far this year.